Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, you have the Rhino Junior, and we're going to have a beer. What beer should we have today, boys and squirrels? You know what? Let's do this beer. This beer is from the Silversmith Brewing Company. It is the Pauly Walnut Brown Ale, which is 5% alcohol by volume. It came in the April edition of the Brew Box. It was bottled on March 30th. Today is May, May 4th, so just over a month old. Let's pop her open. Let's give her a drink. Pour her into the Silversmith tanker here. The um, Frankfurt mug. Mug? Frankfurt? Oh, you guys do the same thing as, as five paddles, eh? You sell 650 milliliter bottles and 500 milliliter glasses. I gotcha. I love the glass, though. I don't give a shit. Uh, anyway, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I wouldn't say it's mahogany brown. It's actually like deep, deep amber. It's just that super reddy brown hue. Uh, Off-white head, there was about a finger of it. Nice snap, crackle, pop. Aesthetically, I really enjoy this beer. Scent. Okay, a nuttiness. Um, I don't know if I'd say walnut for sure, but a nuttiness and like chocolate and uh, candied banana. You know, like when you used to go into the store and you could buy like a hundred candies for a dollar when you could get your penny candies and your five cent candies and all that? Those five cent like gummy bananas kind of has that smell to it. Yeah, the gummy bananas, chocolate, and nuttiness. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Okay. It's really just a no-nonsense like nut brown. That's really what I'm getting off of it. Nutty dryness, uh, almost like uh, almost like say a cashew or a uh, or a peanut. Just that dryness that's left in your mouth when you eat them, with the uh, with just that nutty kind of ta forefront taste as well. So you get your nuttiness, you get your dryness from your nuttiness. A uh, nice roasted flavor in there. Little little nutty roasted dirty finish and the middle is kind of uh kind of whitewashed. I mean the middle the middle's kinda of just soda watery. Uh it's, it's a no nonsense brown ale. I mean if you like a nut brown, it's a nut brown. Is it is it excuse me, an Ephus oatmeal brown? No, it's not an Ephus. I'd say it's it's on par with uh on par with Black Oak's nut brown. Um Yeah, on par with Black Oak's Nut Brown, it's it's just a easy drinking beer that I can get behind and I can really enjoy. There's nothing, there's nothing. Uh, how would be the word, proper way to say that? Uh, there's nothing exciting about it. There's nothing bad about it. It's just a solid drinking beer. If you like. Uh, if you're an Englishman and you like, you know, regular, just like pub dark ales, or you're a um, guy that likes brown ales and all that, it's it's a perfect beer for you. If you don't like the normal flavors in a brown ale, it's probably really not for you. It's not a bad beer at all. It's just not. It's not anything that is exciting, shall we say? But at the same time, this is what craft beer needs as well. It needs a good 
go out with your buddies and drink a whole bunch of them beers. You could have pint after pint of this and it wouldn't overpower your palate. You wouldn't get drunk all that fast and you would be having a great time with your buddies. Uh, for that, I'm going to give this an 8.5. I really enjoy this. So this was the Rhino looking at Polly's Walnut Brown. Thank you very much, Silversmith. Bye.